All right, she wants to be in the Metallic video. Oh, actually, I think everybody liked her in the, uh, what video, what song was it? In In Amarada, she was in the video. Everybody really liked her. All right, this one's not going to be as fun, though. All right, everybody, how we all doing here? Um, So listen, I've kind of been on this like little quest lately to try and do more on the YouTube channel. I had the realization with the Metallica reaction videos, you know, we got a lot of great feedback on those videos. Lots of people saying that they appreciated my insight into the songs, which is kind of funny because I in those videos, I kind of thought I was just like, and also the reaction videos almost always did better than the playthrough Rocksmith videos. So we're kind of in this weird thing where maybe I should lean to the reaction stuff. I'm starting to realize, though, what I think doesn't necessarily make people happy and it kind of actually makes them a little bit upset. Today, I thought we'd go through some of the comments left from my reaction shorts and videos. Our first comment here is from Tenelson3, and this was from the You Must Burn reaction video, I believe. Fantastic song, fantastic album. Pretty sure this guy thinks he can do it better than Metallica. There is literally nothing wrong with this or any other song on the album. Sad but true ripoff? <laughs> They've made 42 years worth of music. Something is going to resemble something over that amount of time. There is literally nothing wrong with this or any song on the album. You know, you're allowed to be a fan of something and not 100% be in love with everything they put out. A lot of people have actually been leaving comments on my videos saying like, Chain Brain hates Metallica, you're just milking Metallica for the views, trying to talk as much shit as possible. I'm actually a huge Metallica fan. Saying that I think I could do better, no, I don't think I could write songs better than Metallica. I am, however, uh, the number one critic of what I would like to hear. And yeah, I still think that song is a little bit long and weird. I will say it has grown on me a little bit more. You probably saw in the playthrough videos. Nothing wrong with this or any song on the album. I mean, let's be real. Christian Pelosi. You don't really know much about Metallica if you can't understand long instrumental intros and middle breaks. It's all about the slow buildup into an amazing final third. Saying that this new album is a, a reflection of everything they've done in the past, I mean, it's not really true because they've evolved so much. And anyway, saying that I don't know much about Metallica, well, that's kind of silly. Dick Wham Bam. All right. This guy, new metalhead, no tattoos would have flipped his shit. But actually, so I saw this comment, obviously, because I replied to it. Yeah, I still don't understand this. I kind of forgot about this one. Can we get some like uh, translations in the comments, please? Because I, I don't know. Mr. Rock, the best part about watching someone who constantly criticizes Kirk is watching them butcher one of his solos. Oh, I know what this is from. This was, uh, I did a short doing the Leper Messiah solo, the... I mean, I actually thought I played that part pretty well. Uh, I wouldn't say it was Butcher, but this is clearly somebody who started watching some of my videos because I probably complaining about the Kirk solos on the new album, and then I play the Leper Messiah one. I don't think I did bad, though. This was from the Move Your Hand Kirk, so okay, I think this video is going to have a lot of people mad at me. It's funny watching people react to the lead guitarist of the best metal band in the world for 42 years, almost as if they should have written, produced, and played the songs themselves. 72 Seasons album is phenomenal start to finish and is better than any album that has come out from any artist in years, and that will hold up to what will probably be their last album. It's easy to shit talk on the best, but never be them. Okay, sure, maybe this person liked the album more than I did. Phenomenal start to finish and is better than any album that has come out from any artist in years. Agree? Disagree? <laughs> All right. Oscar Morales, all I gotta say is, dude, you're judging someone who made a career out of it while you're just judging trying to get subscribers and followers. Well, I know I am trying to get subscribers and followers, so make sure you're subscribing. But yeah, like, you, you know, you can't, you can't deny Metallica's success. It's kind of silly to... Well, so, okay, me having these reaction videos that people have asked me to, because they want me to start doing more reactions and kind of like, how do I feel about sort of things? Never in my mind am I like, I'm going to talk shit because people are going to subscribe to my channel. To me, it's always like, what do I actually think of this? And that's what I think of this, so I will upload it. It's strange to say that everything on this album is perfect. I don't see how you can listen to this album and say that Kirk's playing is on point. And what's really strange is if you listen to the Kirk Hammett uh, solo album kind of song thing that he did, there's some cool stuff on there. Daniel Cox, all these wannabe rock stars that think they know better than Metallica. Lol. <laughs> I like the term wannabe rock stars. Never will I ever say that I can write a song better than Metallica. I can just say what I want to hear. And if I listen to one of these songs and I'm like, oh, that's not 
what I think is the best for it, or this solo is friggin' boring, I could say that. And I will say there are people who also kind of feel the same way, but typically um, they're not as angry. Jan Schumacher, have you ever written a solo yourself? I mean, written by the standards of Metallica fans, the solo being cool, versatile, metal, true, and complicated, hard to play, and sounding so phenomenal that every person hearing it is getting a heargasm. One year old, that's not so easy. Well, I would say nothing on this album fits that at all. Complicated, nothing on this album is a complicated solo. Nothing is, nothing <laughs> at all. So when you're the biggest metal band ever, you can do what you want, criticize bands right now, just a guy in your mom's basement complaining. Ah, yes, the mom's basement. I was actually wondering when we get a comment like this. So actually I'm on the top floor of my house that I own. <laughs> Maybe I am a loser, but I'm not in my mom's basement. Chris Nichols, dude acts like he's more famous. Get a life. Uh, I don't know why this one makes me laugh so much. Uh, n no, be nasty. Who are you? I know who Kirk Hammett is, but who are you? Well, uh, my name is James. I go by the username Chainbrain on Twitch, YouTube, Instagram. Not sure how this guy is qualified to critique the solos by lead guitarist on Puppets or Justice, but go ahead and whatever strokes your self-esteem. I hear a solo and I want it to go somewhere. I don't know what it has to do with self-esteem. Like, I'm not saying that to make myself feel better. I'm just excited and I want to hear something change in the track. And in the case of this video, I say, Kirk, you got to move your hand up and down the fretboard. And he does, and he does like a cool little descending thing, which I think was actually one of the more memorable parts of the solos on this album. Bradley Atkins. It's funny, all these people criticizing Hammett, an absolute billionaire, billionaire? Playing in the most popular band of all time. And you think you know something. How delusional. Bradley Atkins, I think you don't know how much a billion dollars is, because Kirk Hammett is definitely not a billionaire. Like, the lead work on this album is definitely the weakest. I know the, the metal metal fans don't like Load and Reload, but like, those albums add much better solo work. Seems like nowadays everybody is fucking pro of telling others what to do. Well, I mean, in this case, I wasn't telling him what to do, I was just saying what I'd like to hear in the song. Because um, obviously Kirk Hammett can do what he wants, because he's a billionaire! Also, for some reason in my mind, just pop back the 72 seasons is the best album of any artist ever in recent time. They're doing better than I thought. They got billions of dollars and they put out the best album of forever of all time. Samuel Hasman. I know who Kirk Hammett is. I don't know who this bald guitar guy know it all is. That tells me everything. I will just say, well, this tells me what kind of person you are. Uh, immediately jumping to the physical aspect, you know? Yeah, I don't know. This guy's just very upset. Who the frig is this bald idiot on my screen? But thanks for the comment. I know who Kirk Hammett is. I don't know who you are. You're owned. Well, uh, yeah, I don't know. Okay, I guess I'm owned. Wedge Shed. This is from the Move Your Kirk. Man, so many comments from the Move Your Kirk. Move move Your Kirk. Kirk Your Hammett. Move Your Hammett. Move Your Hammett on the fretboard. Bruh, leave them alone. They're all getting old AF, and their hands can't physically do what they used to be able to do. I mean, okay. First off, give old people some credit, all right? This is just, this is stupid already. They've made the most iconic metal music or just music in general for like 40 years. Everything good has to come to an end. Their new stuff is still better than like 80% anything else today. Like 80% what? Like 80% metal music? Cause I would say no, there's definitely a lot of good stuff coming out lately. You're ignoring a lot of metal music and saying like bands getting old AF, their hands can't physically do what they're doing. That's not true at all. That is like a crutch of an excuse, I think, that you're like hanging up on. Uh, I mean, there's so many metal bands in their 60s. Iron Maiden's ripping, Creator is still going hard. Uh, I don't know how the guy, old the guys in Exodus are. They must be getting old, like, you know, Anthrax. All these bands are getting old and they're still shredding. People don't fucking fall apart when they turn 60. Aaron Pop, who is this guy to criticize a great metal guitarist? How dare you? I mean, I've said it a million times, I'm just a fan. I had higher hopes for what I'd like to hear on this album and we didn't get it. That's who I am. Nicholas. Aravallo. People leave Kirk Hammett alone. Leave Kirk Hammett alone. Please. You wish you were him and not you. He is who he is and do what's right. Kirk Hammett. This guy wrote like a poem. Is that a haiku? No, I don't think. What is this? <laughs> he is who he is and do what's right. I, just, I think this is really funny. I don't, I don't want to say anything about this. I should probably go find this comment and give it a heart because I just think it's funny. Fuzzy butt cheeks, bro. Everyone needs to hop off Kirk's nuts. Dude is a legendary guitarist who wrote more than his fair share of iconic riffs and solos. I don't think anybody's disputing that. Everyone's got to let the man just enjoy himself. 
The new Metallic album, 72 seasons. I can listen to one song and be like, this is amazing. And I can listen to a second song and say, this solo is a little bit weak. Listen to a third song and be like, hey, this solo was a lot better than the last one. You know, I think we're allowed to judge stuff on individual basis here. These comments are just kind of like, who are you? You're bald. <laughs> Grant Smith, take that dude's Kirk fingers went off right at the time just as you was nitpicking the solo. Take that, dude. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Talk about a Sunday morning armchair quarterback. Thank you, Brian, for commenting on my video. You know, I'm an okay guitar player. Could I write solos like Kirk Hammett? The current ones, for sure. A lot of people could write those and play those. They're not hard. Could I write solos like uh, from the Master of Puppets era? Probably not. No, I don't think I could. I think that just shows you the trajectory of the, the Kirk solo. Armchair lead guitaring on level 10. Okay, the the next one is probably also fucking going to say armchair guy or whatever. With the birth of the artist came the inevitable, inevitable afterbirth, the critic. Oh, that's the, this is the last one. And I guess we could just kind of summarize this whole video. I'm a fan of Metallica. I don't know, for some reason, people think that I'm not just based on one video. But, you know, it's okay to acknowledge that something is not as strong currently as they had in the past. I'm a fan. I don't think the solos are what they... We're up to. Ch Chain Brain hates Kirk Hammett. Chain Brain thinks Kirk Hammett sucks. Realistically, though, I'm speaking for myself, but I think a lot of people are in the same group as me. So many metal bands that are around the same age of Metallica still putting up rippers and shredders. Um, seeing Metallica kind of, and Kirk Hammett specifically, move his guitar work kind of leaning into a more of a bluesy, rocky, less of a metal kind of style for his solos, you know, it's. You don't even get a glimpse of the past in his solos anymore. You know, it's disappointing. And I'm allowed to be disappointed as a fan. Do I think I could do better? I mean, that's besides the point. Blind loving on something, it doesn't benefit anybody. Lars Ulrich is not gonna fly to your home and kiss you on the forehead. Well, you could say it's my opinion. It is my opinion. But I think there's a lot of stuff to back it up. Anyways, everybody. Uh, <laughs> this video probably went in a direction that I didn't think it was gonna go. I've been enjoying this kind of new style of stuff. We're still gonna be uploading the Rocksmith playthroughs. Anyways, if any of what I do on my channel sounds cool to you, make sure you're subscribed, make sure you're liking and watching the videos. That would really help me out. And I'm hoping for 100,000 subs this year. So let's go, make sure you're subbing. I'm gonna put the work in. Thank you so much everybody for watching. I hope I didn't make you upset. And if I did, I'm sorry.